All right, guys. Here's our challenge for today. We have this old Bryant carrier unit here, and it has a bad heat exchanger. And our challenge is we got maybe a foot on the heat exchanger side to work with. Now, I've done a bunch of these heat exchangers, and normally you just take the side panel off and you pull the heat exchanger right out the side. Simple, pop a new one in, you're good to go. Uh, this one, we don't really have that ability. Uh, I did measure the heat exchanger when I condemned it, and we don't have, obviously, we don't have the, the width right there to pull the heat exchanger out the side. So, the challenge is to find a different way to pull it out. So what I'm thinking is we'll remove the top, the blower assembly, um, this back panel, side panel, and probably pull the heat exchanger right out the back if possible. I've never done it this way, and I don't know that you can do it this way, but we're going to figure it out. So as we do so, I'm going to just kind of film some of the highlights. This will be just a short video just showing some of the difficulties and the highlights of doing a heat exchanger this way. Um, probably don't need to show you taking out every single screw and everything like that. You can figure out how to take screws out. But uh, like I said, we'll pop back in in a little bit once I start pulling some panels apart and get a better idea of what direction we're going to take this project in. Yeah, this is the challenge I'm talking about. So there's my old heat exchanger. And like I said, the heat exchanger normally just comes right out the side and then you just throw it away, slide a new one in. But there's not enough wiggle room inside that cabinet to twist it and then lift it out. So, yeah, let's move on and see what we can figure out, all right? All right, guys, here's what we got going on. So we got our blower assembly removed, our top is pulled off, there's our drive motor. As you can tell right over here, we don't have enough room to pull that heat exchanger out the side. So my idea is removing all the panels around our inducer assembly and getting access to the front of the heat exchanger. And then maybe pulling it straight up out the top, maybe up through the condensing section. I'm not real sure yet. So we're gonna pull some more panels apart and see what our options are. Might have been better off just to quote a new unit. All right, guys, here's our final product. We did have to basically gut the unit, but we were able to pull it right out the back. Just take this blower support off, and then we flipped it up and slid right out the back. So it is possible to do this. A giant pain in the ass, though. You're better off quoting to replace it, especially when you got a 20-year-old unit like I have here. All right, guys, we're just wrapping up here with this heat exchanger. So it was possible to remove it from the top, or mostly from the top, given our foot of clearance that we had on the side there. So leave me some comments if any of you guys have run into a similar issue. So now we just got to cover up this bad heat exchanger label. This way they know that it's there. Now we're good to go. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next one, all right? Like and subscribe.